Welcome back everyone to Digital Dreamscape. Um, today we're doing our, uh, the video that I promised I was going to do after I got the Stormtrooper built. We're doing our benchmarks. Um, so here uh, you can see that I, I have a, a 9500 plus score posted up there on the board. That is from a previous test um, prior to running. Um, the screen recording software. So obviously we dedicated some um, some resources to recording uh, what's going on in the screen right now, which I probably could have avoided had I re uh, recorded that in the um, with the GoPro, like I did here with uh, the Blender test. Um, but you could see the score that we set without running that software, um, so not too big of a deal. Um, the blender test overall turned out pretty good. Um, I think we can get a uh, squeeze a bit more out of this processor, um, maybe with some, some more advanced overclocking configurations. Um, but I mean, I haven't spent uh, a ton of time getting into um, any of the, the advanced overclock features. Um, we just kind of, you know, if you look at some of my previous overclocking videos, you'll see some of the configurations that I set this up at and uh, away we go, right? So um, overall, I'm impressed with the way the, the build turned out. It's um, gaming, gaming great. Um, I am going to upgrade to the NVIDIA 3070 soon. Um, the GeForce 3070, as soon as that is available, um, we're going to upgrade to that card uh, because the graphics output is um, substantially better than the 5700 XT. So look forward to videos coming out on that here um, towards the end of the month. I will have them up as soon as I can get my hands on that card and get it installed and, and get the videos up. So um, the blender test here turned out, uh, we did it I think in a minute and 33 seconds. Um, which, you know, it's, it's comparable with uh, other 3950 processors, uh, the exact same processor. There is one on the board here that scored a little bit higher. Um, again, this build is, is not just an ultimate extreme gamer, but it's also my, um, you know, editing and, and kind of everyday use computer. So could we squeeze some more performance out of the 3950 to be on par with this, the other one um, that you can see I'm about to mouse over it here in a second? Uh, yeah, I'm sure we could. Um, am I that concerned about squeezing out a couple, uh, you know, few extra megahertz and a little bit faster processing and, and what have you? Not really, because at the end of the day, this build is also uh, needs to last me a little while. I'm not just trying to squeeze out every bit of overclocking I can and and kill the lifespan of the computer, right? Um, which is which is what happens when you go to extreme overclocking. Um, yeah, you do get higher performance, but it's at a cost. So, um, with that, thanks for watching. Uh, click the subscribe and the like button for me. That'd be awesome. Um, and I will have more content up for you very soon. Thanks, guys.